Without further ado, I, I do want to crack on because I don't want to run out of time. Our first session is um, Managing Director Malcolm Norris from Sunstone, um, Sunstone Metals. Now, they've got some outstanding gold copper porphyry discoveries over there in northern Ecuador and one also in the south. Um, Malcolm, can you hear me? Hello, Malcolm. Yes, I can, Kerry. Can you hear me? I can indeed. I'm going to hand straight across to you. Tell us all about Sunstone Metals. Thanks, Malcolm. Thanks, Kerry. Um, well, it's very exciting to be joining you today. Um, I'm actually sitting in the exploration um, camp at El Palma mm -hmm. in northern Ecuador. So we're zooming in on this one. And um, I'm here with the board of Sunstone. And after looking at El Palma, we'll be going south to look at Bramaderos. So uh, let me give you the Sunstone story. I definitely will be making forward-looking statements. We're an exploration company, uh, but they're based on a lot of hard work and uh, a lot of good science. So um, let's drive, dive straight into it. So um, the investment proposition we have for you at Sunstone is actually very simple. We're an Ecuador-focused gold copper explorer. Um, our goal is to deliver significant share price growth through discovery. And you would have seen that in our share price movements upwards last year with two significant discoveries, one at El Palma and one within our Bramaderos project in southern Ecuador. So just very briefly on the project, we own 87.5% of the Bramaderos gold copper project in southern Ecuador. Um, and that's got uh, at least six gold copper porphyry targets. Uh, we've delivered a new discovery at the target ALBA. Uh, we've um, confirmed and are building up um, a, uh, towards a resource on the Brahma Alba broader area. We've got three rigs operating. Um, and as I said, we're building towards an initial mineral resource towards the end of 2022. Our second project, El Palma, um, is in the northern part of Ecuador. It's where I'm sitting now. We hold 70%. We can acquire 100% very easily. Um, we've got one drill rig on site at the moment. We've drilled 18 holes. Hole one was a discovery hole. Um, and um, uh, pushed our share price significantly higher. So it, it, it basically supports the model. Uh, we're going to see share price growth, company growth through discovery. The team here at Sunstone has a track record of delivering discoveries in the porphyry space with other companies as well. So um, we're looking forward to delivering two more in Ecuador. It's all about the people. We've got a great team. Um, I'm here with the board, uh, Graham Mazkoff and Steve Stroud. Uh, we've got a small corporate office in Australia. Uh, there's uh, five of us in Australia, low cost overheads for Australia, but we've got a phenomenal team in Ecuador. Currently, uh, the, the full team in Ecuador is 45 people. Um, that covers geology, human resources, finance, environmental science, social science, and they're doing a wonderful job. So very briefly, corporately, market cap of about $140 million. Um, we've recently done a big capital raising, so we're sitting at just under $30 million in cash and equities, obviously dominated by cash. But the most significant thing about our last capital raising is that we introduced some very well-respected institutional funds, and our institutional plus family office investors are currently sitting at 27% of the shares on issue. So that's a really maturing development of Sunstone, um, and uh, we hope that will continue. So here are the projects. I won't talk a lot about Ecuador in the interest of time, but fundamentally, the current president of Ecuador, President Lasso, supports responsible mining, and he's making repeated public statements about that. So mining will feature in the growth of Ecuador over the next five or 10 years. There's some big discoveries, there's some big mines, um, and we will uh, add to that list with discoveries at El Palma and Bramaderos. We're intimately involved um, in the community. Um, we have a strong um, safety culture at the company. Um, we do a lot of environmental work um, and we like to think we take a very responsible approach to all of these issues um, and across both projects. So let's talk about Bramaderos first. Uh, this is the one in the, the project in the southern part of the country. Uh, very well located. Um, it's approximately 5,000 hectare concession. Um, we're right next to the Pan American Highway. So that's a high quality bitumen road that runs the length of uh, South America. So the upper left photo is a picture of um, 
the Alba Hill. So that hill in the, in the foreground there is Alba. And the road you can see uh, across that photo is the Pan American Highway. Uh, upper right photo is a drone photo of our core facility. So that's where we process all our core and right next to the Pan American Highway. Um, we get around the project with our drill rigs in a thing called an iron horse. So that's lower left there. But you can also see in the background how arid uh, Brahmaderos is. So it has a three month wet season, but outside of those three months, it's very dry, very arid, sparsely vegetated. The main crops are corn and peanuts, um, and they uh, raise goats. Um, so um, this is an image of Brahma Alba. So this is the area where we're hoping to put out a mineral resource for the end of the year. And this is also the area we, where we made a significant discovery in November last year at Alba. So we're looking at an area there that's about 1,100 uh, metres long, so 1.1 kilometres long, about 400 metres wide. We've drilled it to a depth of about four or 500 metres in uh, several areas, and there's still plenty of upside. So we put out some results recently, for example, hole 17, that was mineralised, and so that's pushing the boundary of Brahma further to the east. And the area to the west at Alba is still uh, receiving drill holes. So we don't actually know where the western margin of this system is. So a big system, an outcropping porphyry, that's very important. We can actually see porphyry mineralization at surface. And within that, uh, specific zones of higher grade. So we're seeing higher grade zones within that broad mineralized envelope. So if we look at a cross section, this is our current interpretation. You can see on the right in this slide, some of the intersections that we've um, delivered recently. So the discovery intersection at Alba um, shown there, 111 metres at 2.3 grams from 93 metres down hole. But we now know that that system extends through the surface. And then some of the other intervals, the very broad ones, 500 metres, 0.4 gold, 0.1 copper in hole eight in the central zone. But within that, as I said, higher grade zone. So nearly 60 metres at 0.7 gold, 0.23 copper in hole 18. So this will be a very significant deposit in its own right. And um, we're also exploring other deposits within this Brahmaderos concession. So some of those deposits are right next to Brahma and Alba. So we have a look at this slide. This image is, is off magnetics and you can see the drill holes there that I showed earlier of Brahma and Alba. On the, on the left-hand side, we've got a target called Melanal. That's an Alba lookalike. So we're gonna get down there and drill that sometime in the next few months. Plyas out to the uh, east, that looks very similar to Brahma. And we've got clearly uh, two discrete targets based on the magnetics that we're gonna drill within that. And again, we'll get those drilled during 2022. So in the immediate area of Brahma and Alba, we can see some significant growth. And then we come down and look at the broader concession. So let's have a look at the porphyry opportunities. Brahma, Alba, Melanar, Plyos. Just talked about that. They're in the center of the concession. Le Mans, we've got a rig that's just starting to drill there today. We've intersected mineralization in the past. Wasn't quite all grade, but we've now done a geophysical survey that's identified a wonderful looking target. And we're about to drill that. So we'll see what that delivers over the next few months. Porotillo in the south, a historic drill hole that delivered 24 metres at 1.2 grams of gold. So that's mineralised. And then Sandia and Yeso, we haven't drilled those, we haven't explored them to any extent. So we've got all that work still to do. And then epithermal opportunities that we've done a little bit of work on, but we'll get back to outcropping gold, epithermal system at West Zone, and Espiritu is a high grade silver, gold, lead, zinc system. Lots of work to do, so much upside still to be delivered. And you've got to be part of the Sunstone story to realise the upside that's going to be delivered in the share price from these discoveries that we expect to continue to make at, at Bramaderos. So let's go to El Palmar in the north. It's a great address to be in. So we're on the Toachi Fault. This is the same system that includes the Cascabel uh, project, which includes two deposits, Alpala, 2.7 billion tonnes. Tandayama Americana, half a billion tonnes. Lurimagua, one billion tonnes. And we're in that same uh, structural domain. So at El Palma, these are the holes that we've released, the highlights of the holes. Hole one, 500 metres nearly, 0.4 gold, 0.15 copper, mineralisation from surface. And you can go through there and look at each of these intersections um, on our uh, presentation. And um, 
we've got high grade zones within those broader lower grade zones as well. This is what it looks like. This is the main target, a circular magnetic feature, and most of our drilling has been on the eastern side. And you can see there that um, we've started to explore the west, but really the focus is on the eastern side where we're seeing those discovery holes and the follow-up holes. Now we released results from hole 11 recently, very significant because it explores that area to the north of what we know to be the higher grade zone. And this is all within the upper 600 metres of this target. So we're looking at a well mineralized zone at this point, 500 by 300 to a depth of about 500 metres. But we still have a deep target and satellite targets to be explored. Now the deep targets, I won't dwell on this. We're trying to um, increase the robustness of our target. So we've got um, three holes so far. They're all mineralized, but they haven't hit ore grade. So we've integrated this magnetic model with some recently undertaken geophysics as well and come up with another suite of targets that we'll be testing over the next few months. And that should give us greater definition of what's happening below 600 metres. Then we go and look at the satellite target. So this is just one example of a satellite target, northeast satellite target. It's got um, anomalous geochemistry at surface that tells us geologically we're in the upper part of a porphyry. And then it's got a magnetic signature at depth that tells us that's probably where the target domain is. So we'll get out and drill this northeast target also over the next few months. And this is what it looks like in plan. The red circles are the cluster of porphyry targets. You can see we've got a suite of these within a 2.5 kilometre long corridor. And then further to the north, we've got some um, very significant epithermal gold targets that have not yet received a single drill hole. So we'll get up and explore those during 2022 as well. So what does all that add up to? Significant upside to be delivered through discovery. We've already seen from our discoveries last year that that generated very significant upswings in our share price. Bromaderos Alba, initial mineral resource, but additional discoveries to be delivered through drilling at Le Mans, Melanile, Plias, and other targets. Um, so um, we'll advance some other targets towards drilling and then hope towards the end of the year that we can give you some form of exploration target developed in parallel with the mineral resource estimate. El Palma, again, discovery adding significant value. Um, we will grow the existing area, it's 500 by 300. We'll continue to test the deep targets, we'll test the satellites, and we'll test the epithermals all in 2022. So a lot of activity. We're very well funded to do this, sitting with just under $30 million in the bank, a lot of news flow. Um, so I look forward to delivering additional discoveries to add to the Sunstone story that we're already building on. So thank you very much for your time. Thanks.